Start by placing one sachet of dry yeast in two bowl. You're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar, about one tablespoon of salt, about one tablespoon of Greek yogurt, and one cup of warm water. We just want to mix this all together and dissolve it. When using instant yeast, you don't have to wait for the yeast to activate. So now add two cups of plain flour, make a whisk with your fingers and we're just gonna stir. When it's all dissolved, we're gonna add another half cup of flour and stir that again. Now we're just gonna add another half a cup. So one cup of water and three cups of flour. You want to get the extras off of your fingers as well. Sprinkle some flour on the surface. Take it out. All we're going to do at this point is just knead it. So we want to knead it for about 10 minutes. So just fold it over, pull it, push it down again and again. A machine can't do this, so only by hand. If it starts to stick, you can always add a little bit of flour. After 10 minutes of hard work, the dough is ready. Make a nice ball. Take your first ball again, sprinkle with some flour to stop it sticking and place the dough in the center. Cover with some foil. And let it rise on a warm spot for about one hour. After one hour the dough has risen enough. Before you start to bake you have to decide how big it has to be. So I'm going to use this pan so it may not be bigger than the center of the pan. Sprinkle some flour on your surface. Take out the dough. I'm going to cut it in half to make two pieces. And all I'm going to do is turn this into a ball. And flatten it out with my fingers until the right size. You can always use a rolling pen if you like. Put your pan on high heat. Add two tablespoons of oil when the pan is hot. Once the oil is hot, turn your heat down to medium. And we place our dough straight in, like so. Take about two and a half minutes per side. You don't want to overcook it. After about two and a half minutes, sprinkle two tablespoons of oil on this side. and carefully flip it over.
I've melted one tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley and I'm gonna brush this on top. Save the rest for the other side. After another two and a half minutes, flip it again. Look at that! Now turn your heat off. And we're gonna brush the rest of our butter and parsley. And now we're ready to serve. Look how beautiful this is. Just cut it in four pieces. A little bit crispy on the outside. And nice and soft on the inside. Bon appétit!